are you a pillar or a caterpillar? Reverend Oma is the mother of the house. Uh -huh. She's the disciplinarian in the house. Oh, yes. She has a loving heart. Her teaching just shaped my life as I go along with her. As a wife, she has challenged me. She has, I have seen the way she supports Apostle Williams, uh, her sincerity, her genuineness, her love for God. One of the things that the Lord taught us in this group is about the mother of Moses, Jacobet. Jacobet. We learned several things about the mother of Moses, and we were told that Jacobet is a model for women of destiny to follow. As you all know, we do not only go there to study the war. I told you we pray, and we also think about some other things that the Lord is going to use us to benefit this church. Happy birthday to you and many, many more. He's wishing you a fantastic 60th birthday. And I pray that the Lord will continue to strengthen and embrace you as you move into your 61st year of life. I pray that you will be a gem, a star, a signet ring You Here's to an amazing, charming, witty, belly dancing in um, Dubai. I pray that your life will be decorated with good things and that you will fascinate just as this fascinator is fascinating. Woman of the year, your prestige, like your top notch and that he will enable you to continue to be the mother that you have been. I'm always saying that God will give me the grace to be just like you when I have children. And um, yes, that includes making three different dishes for three different children who have different taste buds. So God bless you for taking out the time to you know, be considerate to each and every one of us to do this. So I know a lot of other mothers wouldn't even bother to be quite honest. So. Yes, is much appreciated. I also want to say that you will see your children's children. You know, here's to another 60 years, because I know that you want to live past 100. So here's to another 60 years, should the Lord tarry. And you will never lack in anything good. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Have a lovely day and a fantastic year ahead. It's just an amazing age, and we thank him for your amazing life and for all your great achievements down through the years for the Lord. And we're sure the Lord has many, many more wonderful years ahead for you to enjoy. And the Lord has great blessings in store to you. So we just want to tell you, we love you and we wish you well in the future. And just trust the Lord to bless you abundantly in all that you do. May the Lord bless you and enjoy your very special day. Well, we're honored and excited to be part of your special day. And uh, scripture does say that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor of the Lord. And you're a lady who has shown great blessing through your very life. Uh, you're a gracious person, you're very consistent, and your support for your husband is a wonderful testimony. And so we're happy to be celebrating this great day with you. And may you enjoy to the full in many years to come. God bless you. Happy birthday. Does it look 60? I think she looks about 22 or 3. 21? Okay. Um, the Bible says that uh, women shall be like the pillars of the palace, adorning the royal palace of our God. And that's what she has been all these years. She doesn't like people looking down on anybody or on, on yourself. And she likes things to be perfect. I just don't understand how she does it. Like, I'd say she's like a second mom because, you know, she'll come say, oh, you, your, your skirt is too short and stuff. Like, as well, even when you're getting married, she's very hands-on. She gives a lot of advice, advice that you can take to your house and, you know, you can put it to good practice. Um, she is definitely like a mom to everyone who comes to this church, you know, f you know, she understands that we are, that when you're growing, you're young, you're being influenced by many things, and she takes you to the side and even sometimes says, this is hot potato, you can't touch it, you know, when you're a young 
person, your focus should be God and your studies or, or, or this girlfriend, boyfriend business. It's not for that time. And I really thank God that I listened to that counsel because I definitely wouldn't have been in the position that I am today. And I said to my children, I remember in those days when my daughter would tell me, uh, somebody invite me to one party. Like, it doesn't, you know they don't go to party. Better know that. <laughs> it's not in my diary. Partying is not in my diary. And if we have to go, maybe it's compulsory, we have to be there. 30 minutes to 45 minutes, we are gone. And I would have given them food at home. They would have eaten. So when they get there, they are full up. There's nowhere to eat again. And your child is not eating. I say, ask, ask them. My experience with Reverend Omar has always been a joyous one. I, I can't explain it, but it's like I've known her all my life. We get along very well. We laugh a lot. But one thing I like about her is she's a woman of God and she's a woman of strength. And uh, even after all of the laughter, when we have a good time, she's serious about the things of God. I like how she trains the women here at um, Christ Faith Tabernacle. I love how she treats her husband and her children. And uh, so I, I call her a blessed woman. And my experience with her has always been a good one. And uh, I always look forward to seeing her whenever she comes to the United States and whenever I'm able to travel here. I remember when I wanted to go to school as well. In as much as she knows that I'm busy, she still wants me to be busy in terms of the ministry as well. So she encouraged me that you can do both. Some men that are full of excuses. Is it, because, is it your job that we eat? You don't know you have to cook for me? You don't know you have to do to me? It's not an excuse for some of you women though. You know, but sometimes women are so lazy because I have to encourage you in that area. You are so lazy to the, that I said that you are still waiting for your husband to come from work before your husband, before you can go to the kitchen to cook. It's very bad. Pray that the Lord will embrace you. That is an area of gifting in your life. You must be a woman that has set the table before your husband comes from work. Yes, I was working. My husband was working. And I make sure, it depends on the type of work that you do as well. That, I'm, I'm saying this. But my table is set. When my beloved comes, the table is set. Because he's expected to, when he comes home, he knows the table is set. But maybe you are a nurse. Or you are someone that does shift work. Plan your time properly. God is in need of your gift. This is a gift that people shy away from. It's a gift. Your gift will help to influence other people. Your gift will help to encourage other people. Deborah, in the area of her gifting, I'm, I'm saying that Lapidot would have been a man that encouraged Deborah in the area of her gifting. And then the glory of God was so uh, enormous on Deborah that Deborah was so effective in her own time. Mom, um, happy 60th birthday. This is Samuel. I'm here to play a rendition for your 60th birthday. Hope you enjoy it. birthday Reverend Omar Williams 60 amazing great years you've been such a blessing even from the first moment that I met you and you have made a mark on my spirit to be a woman of God indeed I just wish you many many more great years and I'm just so pleased that we are able to celebrate with you on this great occasion. Yeah, you know I'm saying everything you've done for us, this, you know, my, my siblings, Lizzie and Samuel, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate um, the love you've shown over the years. Um, 
and you as a person. I think for me, one of the, the greatest things about you is your, your character is interesting. And, and when I say that, I mean, um, <laughs> you're someone that, for me, when I, when, I, when I think about, you know, ideas of going out and having dinner, let's say, um, with me and um, my future kids, or with me and, you know, the family, and you're there, you're just a, an energy that I think a lot of people want to be around because of your character. You just got, and it's, it's, it's a very simple, simple concept, but it's a beautiful thing at the same time. You're just very, you know, <laughs> you're a lot, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's, it's great to have someone that's a lot. It's great to have someone that's, that's just full of energy and love. Do you know what I'm saying? And I think for me to you, um, don't lose that. You know what I'm saying? Whereas within your power, continue to create and grow and build on that. Like it's a lot and it's amazing. Happy birthday, mom! You are the best mom and the most beautiful one in the whole world ever. Mom, your life has been a real impartation, and everything that we are here as women, we we owe it to you. You have poured yourself out to to, to shape us, to transform our life, and today we really want to join all together across the world to wish you. Happy 60th birthday. We love you, Mom. My special mommy, I want to thank God for you and I want to wish you a very happy 60th birthday. May the glory of the Lord descend upon you. May He take you to a new height in Him and a deeper depth. As you are going, you're going to do the works of Christ. As you are supporting Apostle, May God's hand be upon you and never depart from you. What do I say for my twin sister, for our mommy, uh, the one and only Reverend Omar Williams? I thank God for your life, 60 years of faithfulness, of God's grace upon your life, of service, of loving, of caring. No one deserves to be celebrated today better than you. I thank God for the day that he connected me with you. I love you with all my heart. And this is to the next 60 years, sis. God bless you. Christ Church Tabernacle expect this flight to be like all other normal flights. But safety regulations demand that we acquaint you with a safety procedure on board this airplane. Should there be a sudden loss of pressure in the air? Oxygen mask like this will drop automatically from the panels above your head. When you see this mask appear, just get ready to breathe in the Holy Ghost. He's coming down right now. He's coming down right now. He's coming down right now. A deep breath. Mm. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Say happy birthday to mommy in Hebrew. <laughs> Mazal Tov Ima. Happy birthday.